Hey guys, Kyle with MTG Freeway, and today I will be opening a pat our box of M15 corset. So yeah, let's open this puppy, see what we got inside, and hope for the best. Maybe we get foil Nissa or regular Nissa or maybe a Garukina Nissa or you know who knows. Let's just open it and see what we get in here. All right, guys, get all these packs here. Put them down to the side. And yeah, um, start here with pack number one. See what it opens us. Skip to the uncommons because everybody's open enough M15 to where they know what the stuff is. Uh, one, two, three. Our first rare is a Genesis Hydra. Always good. Everybody knows what it does. Um, play Genesis Hydro. Get get a free card from the library uh, to the battlefield. Always good. Let's open pack number two here. See what we get. Okay, one, two, Hushwing Griff. I skipped some uncommons, but oh well. Um, Hushwing Griff, uh, Flash with the Flying. And then we had an Insect Token in that pack. But yeah, um, so far, seems alright. Uh, let's open here, see what we get. Um, one, two, three. Uh, Master of Predicaments is our next rare. And then a Tree Folk Warrior token for the Tree Folk that we have in the box. And yeah, let's open it, hopefully see what else we get here. Alright, so... Here comes our next uncommons. One, two, three, and we got hey, there we go. A lot of war wastes. Uh, that's a good little ray right there. And then a foil feral incavation. It looks it looks really beautiful foil, I must say. Not really that good of a card per se, but um, still a beautiful foil at its best. All right, next next one. See what we get here. One, two, three, and first mythic, a soul of Theros. Not bad, not the best, not the worst, but yeah, we got a soul out of our box. Next, next pack we get here. Open it up. Let's skim through all the commons and stuff here. Uh, one, two, three. We got a burning anger. Um, all right, another bulk rare. But yeah, alright, just keep opening the packs of M15, see what we get. Uh, one, two, or rare is Hornet Queen. Everybody knows what that Hornet Queen does. And yeah, and then, hey, another pretty foil. A foil room call bear, a foil bear bear. Gotta love that foil. Um, but yeah, guys, um... That's what we got so far. Let's keep opening them, see what we get here, because I love opening packs, packing packs, all that. And yeah, um, all right, let's keep going, see what we get. Um, one, two, three. We got a Spect Reward. Gives the creature plus two, plus two, and pro colors. Seems all right and limited. Um, yeah. Keep going here with our next pack. Um, one, two, three. Our rare is Polymorpheus Gists. Always good. Turns those creatures that your opponent's attacking with into frogs. So, like, maybe a big, huge, um, a big, huge, uh, I don't know, monster deck or something coming at you with everything they got. You turn them into frogs and say it in your face. Okay. Um, one, here's our uncommons. One, two, three. And then we have an Avarice Amulet. Uh, bulky bulk bulk rare. Um, here we go. We're almost done with one part of the stack. All right, let's keep going through. We still haven't seen any walkers or anything like that, but we might. And then we got another. Uh, we got another pain land. We got battlefield forge. Always good. Pain lands are a good thing, especially in the new format, because it affects the fixings and stuff like that. So yeah. All right, we got two pain lands in this box. One, two, three, and then we got a Yisan. 
Um, always good maybe for some people's EDHs or maybe even a Yisan deck, but still bulk at the most. Next pack here. Alright, let's skim through everything, see what we get in this pack. Uh, one, two, three. We got a cord of calling. Hey, that's a $10 bill right there. Always good little cord here with Convoke. Everybody knows what Corner of Calling does, but if you don't, it has Convoke and then search your library for a creature of a card with converted mana cost X or less and put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. I still want to see somebody do Corner Calling with, um, with Obnixilis and just say ha in your face when somebody tries to do a fetch. That would be pretty funny. And then we have a next rare is Phyrexian Revoker. Always uh, good for sideboards, maybe. And then another pretty foil. We got a foil Shadow Cloak Vampire. Seems like all my foils are being pretty fun, uh, pretty, pretty cute. Cause I don't know. I like foils. Foils are always good. Um, but foil rares are especially the best. We still haven't got to that foil rare in the box. Let's see what it is. Uh, Uncommons one, two, three. We got a huge bulk rare. A Stormtide Leviathan, and then another insect token in there. Always good for the Hornet Queens and the Hornet Nests and stuff. All right, let's um, let's look here, see what we get out of our rare Cone of Flame, Paragon, Make Right. And speaking of Hornet Nest, we got um, Hornet Nest. Hey, two Hornet Nests in a row. That's funny. That's our foil rare. Um, Hornet Nest, Hornet Nest in the same pack. Ha ha. That's pretty cool. We got two Hornet Nests. Got a regular Hornet Nest, if you don't know what it does, Defender, when it's dealt damage, put that many 1-1 green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch onto the battlefield, and then our beautiful little Hornet's Nest foil there. So that was our foil rare, but we only have one Mythic out of this box so far, so who knows, we might get another foil rare, or just something will surprise us, but let's hope for the best, guys, because yeah, I would love some extra foil rares, but the two Hornet Nests in a row kind of... Got there. And then we got a Cruel Sadists. Um, another bulk rare. So, and then we got a Landmine token. So really, there's not really that many good things in the core set. Except for like some of the staples. Like the Pain Lands and like uh, Cord and like the Walkers and stuff. But we can still see what we got here. And then our... Hey, we got a Garuk. That's a card too. Um, he cost 7, 5, colorless, a black and a green. Um, right here, uh, plus one, destroy another target planeswalker. Plus one, put a three three death touching beast onto the battlefield. Minus three, destroy target creature. Uh, minus eight, opponent gets an emblem with whenever a creature attacks you, which is the opponent. A lot of people got confused with that. It gets plus five, plus five, and gains trample. So they get an emblem that basically screws them over in EDH and stuff like that. But yeah. Um, that's one walker out of the box. Um, that's our second mythic, a Garouk. And I heard one thing when everybody kept opening um, M15 packs that Garouk was one of the hardest things to pull. So um, we got a Garouk, but it's still not. It's still a money card, but it's not the best money card. Um, then we got a Sliver Hive, another good land for slivers. Even though slivers are uh, rotated now, there's not really a good sliver deck anymore. A lot of people are hoping that the next set of cons will be slivers, and I'm like, it's not going to be slivers, it's going to be based on colorless, but we'll see. Um, we got another mythic here. We got a soul of Zendikar, so two souls in the set. Um, the 6-6 six, six Reacher, and then it basically puts beast tokens on the battlefield for five. All right, three, three mythics out of the box. Let's see what else we get here. Um, skim through everything for you guys. One, two, and then we get an obelisk of Erd right here. Um, always maybe good for like, uh, I don't know, soldier aggro decks and stuff because you say like soldier and they all get plus two, plus two. Or any other like mono uh, creature type decks it helps with. Um, and plus it has Convoke, so that's always a good thing. Um, let's skim through everything else, see what we get here. And our rare was Life's Legacy. Is an additional cost to cast Life's Legacy, sack a creature, draw cards equal to the power. Um, so that might re be good with uh, Scuttling Doom Engine or something. Sacrifice it, you draw six, they get lose six. And then another, uh, it's not really a beautiful foil, but it works, a foil swamp. And then a squid token. 
Let's keep opening the packs here, see what we get. Because seems like so far so so far so decent. I mean we got a Garouk, we got a few other things. And then we got a Perilous Vault. Hey, our next mythic. Um Exile Perilous Vault. Exile on non-land permanents. So another removal spell for standard right now. And then a foil serif for the masses. Uh seems like it's a pretty foil, but I don't know. Um we got one third of the box left, so let's keep opening them, see what we get. Okay, skim through everything. Um, our rare is Mer Miracular Pretender, one of the intro deck rares, another bulk. Don't really want to tell you what it does, because it seems like, seems like nobody really wants to know, because it's a bulk. So, let's keep going through everything. Um, we have a Grind Clock here. Everybody knows what Grind Clock does, so don't want to go through it. And a Death Touching Beast token to go with our Death Touching Garouk Planeswalker that we pulled. Seems alright. And then, uh, let's keep going here, see what else we get. Um, one, two, three, and we got an Urborg. Erborg's always good. Maybe another five, four or five dollar staple. A lot of staples right here in M15. Seems like rares. You got the pain lands and everything, like I said. And then Garouk seems like it's a one of in most decks with walkers nowadays. Um, but yeah, let's just keep skimming. We had that, that, that. And then our rare is Mass Calcify. Another bulk rare. Woohoo. And we got the spirit token in that. Keep opening the box. Uh, hope for the best stuff like that. Might get a Nyssa. We, so far we get a Garouk. A Garouk and a Nyssa would be a good a good box in my opinion. Two. And then, hey, we got uh, two walkers in this. We got a Chandra Pyromaster. Everybody knows what it does, but for the people that don't, plus one, Chandra Pyromaster deals one damage to target player and one damage to up to one target creature that player controls. That creature can't block. Zero, exile the top card of your library. You may play it this turn. Minus seven, ultimate. Exile the top ten cards of your library. Choose an instant or sorcery card. Exile that way and copy it three times. You may cast the copies without paying their mana cost. But not a lot of people use it for her ultimate. Usually her zero or her plus one. Especially her plus one nowadays because they got a lot of stuff and people trying to deal with siege rhinos and stuff in standard format. Um, our next rare is an aggressive mining, another bulk rare. Um, nobody's found a use for that so far. I wanted them to so bad because it seems like it would be an alright card in some decks, but who knows. Let's keep going, see what we get. And yeah, um, alright. So skim through all the packs. One, two, three, and then we got another Obelisk of Erd. I already told you what it does. Um, don't really need to tell you again. So it seems we got two Obelisk of Erds. Seems like this box is all right so far. Um, one, two, three, and then we got a hoard hoarding dragon, another bulk rare. Um, yeah, so f like uh, no timber. Let me clean up this mess real quick. Uh, they got stuck in the box. Or they got out of the box. Um, anyways, we got, I believe there's five packs to go. And yeah, let's crack the last five. Hope for something. I want a Nissa out of this box. That'd be pretty cool to get three of the six walkers out of the box. Uh, we got a Crucible of Fires. Dragon creatures, you can get plus three, plus three. Um, I, guess they, I guess they printed that because of the dragons and... Um, and M15, but I don't know. Um, it would be cool to play that and then play like a um, Sarkhan and just make him a 7-7 seven, seven RAR. You know what I mean? Um, but we got our rare is another bulk. Don't really want to tell what Haunted Plate Mail does. Haunted Plate Mail. And then a Foil Heliod's Pilgrim. Um, and then a Garouk Emblem to go with our Garouk. So we have a Death Touching Beast to go with our Garouk. We have a Garouk Emblem to go with our Garouk. And, yeah, it seems like it's alright. Seems like it's a Garuk sort of box. Okay, our uncommons. One, two, three. Stoked to Flames. Always a good staple. And a Chasm Skulker. Seems like it's alright. But Stoked to Flames is... Uh, so far, I think I've only pulled one Stoke. Stokes are a really hard uncommon to get with. Uh, to get. To get. 
that's why they're a dollar or two but yeah um let's see here skim through everything we got one pack left after this Hope for the best and we got a permanent captain always decent i guess um first strike when it attacks you may put a soldier card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped in attacking but their effect doesn't work um like they don't get the bramaz tokens if you use bramaz or like stuff like that you the bramaz just comes into the battlefield attacking but yeah, let's last pack, see what we get here, and then I'll review what we pulled out of the box. Um, we got a Stain the Mind as our last rare. I want to see somebody use this use this card nowadays because Stain the Mind seems like it'd be all right. Um, that was the last bit. That was the last pack. Let me sort through everything, review here, and yeah, um, I'll pull out. I'll pull the Mentionals Bulls up front and see what uh, see how good we did. Um, let me see here. We got Chandra. That's one notable. Urborg, another no notable. Perilous Vault, another notable. Um, Soul of Zendikar, a Sliver Hive. Garuk. Um, a Hornet's Nest, a Foil Hornet's Nest. A uh, Court of Calling. Battlefield Forge is decent. Um, Hornet Queen seems like it's okay. Soul of Thero seems alright. Alana War Waste seems okay. Um, and then Genesis Hydra is alright. And then our foil, random foils. Heliot's uh, Pilgrim, Seraph for the Masses, Foil Flavor, um, Foil Shadow Cloak, Foil Bear Bear, and a Foil Feral Incubation. But yeah, um, seems like it's an alright box. We got two Pain Lands. Um, we got a Cord. We got a Hornet's Nest, a Foil Hornet's Nest, and a Garuk. And then a Chandra, as well as uh, Urborg, and a few other notables. So yeah, guys, um, that was me opening the box of M15. Um, I'll skim through everything again so you can see it all. Um, and then, yeah, no Nissa in this box, but we still got some de decent stuff. But yeah, um, those were our notable, some noticeables, and I'll skim through all the bulk real quick for you to see and yeah all right guys um that's 